Hey guys, okay, so we are back for another video and I am super, super excited about this one. Um, today is actually the first day of my vacation from work and so uh, I thought I'd celebrate with a awesome painting. And this is going to be the first of four in a series. It's our first series, I'm very excited. And this is going to be the uh, season theme that I was talking about. I thought that, that would be super cool to do. Um, and so we're gonna do blowouts. This is kind of a spin off of what Molly from Molly's Artistry did. And I've been wanting to do it for a while. And this seems like the perfect time because the weather is changing, the seasons are changing, so let's go into our colors okay so uh, i'm going to go ahead and flip you down so that we can uh go over colors and then we'll get you on the canvas but let's get cracking okay everybody so going over colors so this is going to be a oh this is a combo that's right so this is a uh creative inspirations Payne's gray and then an S, uh, amsterdam Prussian blue. So that is going to be one of the main colors. We've got the Golden Fluid Phthalo Green Blue shade. This is that one that I was talking about. Uh, it can take over if you are not careful. So just use it sparingly. This is going to be uh, Lucas Krill Green Earth. Okay. And this is Liquitex Light Blue Violet which um, I've already actually taken my paint out and I had to thicken it up a little bit. So no, I'm not shaking this and then going to use it because then I would have a ton of air bubbles. So um, that is that one. And then this is a custom blue that I did. It is the Galerial Phthalo Blue, Charvin Ocean Blue, and then Charvin Ultra Marine. Super pretty color. This guy is a Lucas Krill Arctic, very fitting. Um, and this one is going to do, or is going to be, excuse me, Amsterdam Titanium White. This is the Amsterdam Prussian Blue. And then we've got some Pebio uh, Iridescent Gold, okay? And then I totally forgot to tell you in the intro uh, which one we are doing. Uh, so we are gonna do Winter. Uh, for the first one, since we're kind of headed into winter as it is, at least in the PNW, because it's freezing. Uh, the last two mornings I have had to thaw and scrape my windshield, which is not normal for quite this early this time of year. So, all right, uh, that's the colors. Let's get you on to the canvas. Hey guys, okay, so we are back. I've got the canvas here and we are all set to go. Um, so I am going to go ahead and get started. This is a 30 by 15 uh, canvas. It's nice and taut. As you can see, I sprayed it with some water on the back so it kind of tightened up the, the canvas a little bit. And yeah, let's just get started. So we are doing a winter painting themed. Kind of meant, or kind of missed that <laughs> in the intro. Sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, 30 by 15 canvas. We're doing a winter theme. Um, and I had to thicken up my paints a little bit because uh, they were a little watery, surprisingly. Uh, after after sitting even so that was that was interesting i usually don't have that problem so um but that's why i am pouring out of these guys um i thickened up some of my other ones for a previous pour but some of these were not uh yet done and then i had to custom mix the uh silver so all right so let's get going and i think Maybe we will start with, um, I don't want to set that there because it's going to get stuck on it. So let's set that there and then we're actually going to start by spreading this guy out.
Oh, I spot a goober. There's my tweezers. Yep, goober. Tweezers are your best friend. Okay, where did my little doohickey go? Ruh -ruh. I lost it. No, I didn't, it's right here. I lied. <laughs> I do that a lot. I'm probably the only person that can move something literally right next to her. taken care of here and covered. All right, that's at least the first part of it. Kind of clean this guy off. The faster that you clean off your tools, the easier it is later. So don't skip that because otherwise you'll end up ruining some of your stuff and that's no bueno. So voice of experience. Okay, so now I'm going to blow this out and I will speed this up probably. Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on then do anything for what we started But this time we could break I'm running dry Everything's the same We'll try tonight But this time we're not safe and sound Not safe and sound What if I'm not good for you? When I'm reasoning about us I know you got me, it's so effortless Back to back we would carry on and We'd do anything for what we started But this time we could break I'm running dry, everything's the same We'll try tonight But this time we're not safe and sound Not safe and sound what if I'm no good for you? What if you're no good for me? Yeah. What if I'm no good for you? What if you're no good for me? Yeah. What if I'm no good for you? What if you're no good for me? Yeah. What if I'm no good? So since we're gonna do a blowout over the entire thing, we don't need to be super picky about colors. Is that a goober? I think that might actually be a goober. Just a little baby one. Okay. Okay, now we're set. So we are gonna start with the Canes gray and I'm gonna be oh I feel like that might need to be mixed up a little bit more. I know I shouldn't be shaking but that was an interesting cell reaction that's for sure. Okay. I did just add some Floetrol to this so that's probably part of the reason why. Okay. Oh interesting. No it's Oh, there we go. Okay, now we're in business. All right. In case you can't tell, I love paints gray. And we are just really going to town with this. May or may not use all of the colors. This is that custom, custom blue. I'm trying to be generous all throughout. Okay. 
Let's go in with some of that green. So this is not that uh, phalo green that I was talking about with the golden. So that's why I'm being a little bit more liberal. This is that green. So you don't want to go too much because otherwise it takes over. And that's not what I want. I don't know if we need any more of the white, so I'm not going to add it quite yet because we've got a lot of paint on here. I don't want to be wasting too much. And then so this is how you should do it. Just kind of gently go back and forth or you can roll it like this. Just not vigorously, nice and slow, just to mix it up. That way you minimize, oh, even then, even then, a little bit more rolly. Just maybe a couple. Trying to minimize the air bubbles, there we go. I don't want too much gold, just a little, just some highlights. Okay.
Kinda simple, kinda wasteful about things. And you're kinda simple, but like a pistol, you fire. Sometimes you get under my skin like a lover, and sometimes you don't wanna come back, cause you'd rather stay out with another. Talking to strangers and make out spontaneously. Now I'm so tired of hearing all your stories. Okay guys, so here it is, and <laughs> I usually don't let them in the studio, but I am uh, gonna be traveling here out of state pretty soon, so I figured I'd let them hang out with mama. Look at how pretty. I'm really glad I put just little bits of gold in there because I feel like it definitely that is so cool. Oh, so pretty. So, so pretty. Such a cool cell reaction here on the edge. And in here. Oh, look at the center. I love the center. Look at that. I'm not doing very well at my camera angles, am I? So pretty. Ugh. Alright guys. Well, here's the first one of the series. Um, this is winter. I hope you like it. I think up next is going to be fall. And then we'll do spring. Or, I'm sorry, then we'll do summer, then we'll do spring. So we'll kind of work our way backwards, if you would. But yeah, let me show you the dry results. Hang tight. Okay guys, so here it is all dry. No varnish or anything like that yet, but it is completely dry and it dried beautifully. Uh, I It really has a, a winter theme to me. You can let me know what you think down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. Let me bring you in for a close up of some of these. I love how a lot of the cells really like opened up and got just a really, look at this, with the gold. Just a really cool effect. And I was a little worried. Um, oh, this is just beautiful. I love it. Oh, um, I was a little worried that I had been a little too heavy handed with the paint, but nothing warped nothing cracked no crazing and i'm crazy about it so let's get on to the next one which will be fall and hopefully i can get it done um at least the the initial part of it uh before i leave if not uh then we'll have to do it when i get back which i'm only going to be gone for four or five days so not too shabby at all and in the meantime i have the wave piece that I'm going to be finishing up. Uh, so that should be uploaded here pretty soon and we'll be rocking and rolling. But yeah, all right, I'll bring you in for the finished and varnished results. Stay tuned. <laughs> 